All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Iowa State Basketball. We are in the Big 12 Tournament. Getting ready to start here. Take away the ticker because we are done with that for the season. <clears throat> the way the tournament tree looks, Oklahoma State beat Texas A&M to get here. So then we face Oklahoma State. If we win that, then we go and face the winner of Kansas State, Texas Tech. And then the winner of that, uh, assumedly, we are going to face Texas. I assume, I, I assume we'll beat Oklahoma State. Then we'll have Texas Tech and then Texas. Uh, things could change, though. You never know. So we'll see what happens. Mm. All right, let's do this. Mm, today, got the killing yeah. business mind. Still going to check it out tomorrow. Yeah, I I haven't even I haven't even yeah, officially right. downloaded like I've uh, downloaded it, but haven't even officially installed it yet on my uh, computer because I came home, I checked a couple things on my phone that I wanted to see. And then, like, took a nap. <laughs> and then I took a nap until, like, 8.30 or so. Now I'll just go straight to it. But, yeah, I took a nap till like, 8.30. And then I woke up, threw some pants on, went to go get food. Because it's rare for me to uh, actually wake up in time for... Uh, it's rare for me to actually wake up in time for um, uh, the food and everything for stuff still being open when I take a nap. So I was like, yeah, I should actually do that. Instead of waiting and then potentially have to get you know something door dashed and that would just be a pain in the ass. Which was still a pain in the ass going and actually getting the food, though, because it's a lot. It's, God, everyone's doing it. So drive throughs on the street where like all, all the restaurants are is just ridiculous. Take a nap immediately after getting home. Well, it's mostly just the fact that it's mostly just the fact that I didn't get to sleep uh, early enough. Like the, the like uh, Thursday, I wasn't going to. Uh, I was okay. I was still a little tired, but I was okay because uh, my sleep wasn't really thrown off. <clears throat> so I was like, okay, I'll just go to bed. I'll just go to bed at a normal time Thursday night, and then, you know, I can kind of get my sleep schedule back in order. Well, that didn't happen. I still ended up staying up later than I should have, and uh, so I was tired today. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to take a nap when I get home. Just what happens. Catches it, top of the key. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, mm -hmm. it might have. Mm -hmm. Do we still not have Scrocky in. back right now? Stops it. He's got two. Figured we would. Or is he still, like, day-to-day? -day? Uh, will it say Scrocky? 82 minus 2. Will it? I was going to say, will it say kind of what what he is, where he's at? Doesn't look like it. <sighs> I was hoping it'd tell me, you know, maybe what's... I, I could see the 82 minus 2, so definitely he's still hurt, but I don't know exactly how screwed up he is. So, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Right now. Salazar. Salazar gets the yeah, that's actually what... Uh, I think that's practically what's happened... Uh, like we've had five cases now because we we get meetings whenever it officially happens. But our our plant has had five cases now, and like four of them were asymptomatic. Like they were just going in, they didn't feel anything. They weren't sick at all. They just were going in for something completely unrelated. And now they're doing the COVID testing, and then they tested positive. It's kind of crazy. Dog dumps it off. 
Ah, damn it. Milton backs him down. Oh, oh. Has it there you go. Damn it. Shot missed in three point range. The Cowboys, a three would tie the game. I don't think he'll miss You're scared to death. I, I, I fully understand, man. That's. It's air. scary potentially Lady losing like a family Iowa member. State takes its first time out of the game. Coach Wilson wants to shake things up just a little bit, and this could be an excellent move. The group of kids on the floor play with great chemistry. Chewy C inbounds the ball. Yep. Backs him down. Shepherd goes up. Oh my goodness, we were doing so good. But they're still we're doing so one. good. The oh, there is Scrocky. Okay. So he's he's getting limited line. minutes, it looks like. And so final blood work may release him into a quarantine area of the nursing home. Thing is they test every week, damn. He misses the first. What a last name that dude has, by the way. What is this? Sigurdason. Sigurdason? Sigurdason. Darson. Sigurdarson. Sigurdarson. I guess. And he's going to come away empty from the line. What's amazing is that's a randomly generated like uh, last down. name. So Shepherd, they definitely down. have that like in the uh, they definitely the have that in the uh, commentary in file. It's amazing. It's amazing the names that they have put in the commentary final that you can actually hear them say. Poked away, out of bounds. Touch last by Iowa State. The Cowboys will bring out some reserves. Oh, South Park episode. I don't think I. I don't know if I remember that. There we go. I'm trying to move my mic around. So hopefully it's not. Hopefully it doesn't. Nice Not pass. too loud. To give them the lead. Has been the way up, and he'll get two shots at the line. I need a little bit of WD-40 because it. I don't know if you can hear the squeaking when I move it, but there's a little bit of it. It's starting to get a little worse for wear. I I need WD-40 especially for my for my uh, for my uh, gets the one to tie it. This next bedroom one door because it just like it's like a, it sounds like an old. Sounds like an old door. It really just needs a little bit of grease. It used to be fine like three years ago when I moved in, but now it backs in, catches it. Now it just needs needs some grease. Shepherd for three. Damn it! Pulls it down. Doss went after that rebound hard. Great work. From the baseline, the basket was buried by Reeves. I realize it's been a little while since I've actually ever seen South Park. There we go. We've been getting we've been getting not great as far as our. Uh... Oh my goodness! Wait, we're starting to we're starting to fall apart here. I don't like that. I don't like that. There we go. He sinks the second. Benzel inbounds the ball. About seven and a half minutes left. I don't like this. This falling apart that we're doing. Oh, look at that! Fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Scrocky backs in. There you go. Puts the hammer down. Scrocky coming back is great. Oh, I thought he had it. They're going to apply some pressure here and with full court minimum. You know what right was kind of funny? Um, Carmen was calling it crack baby Beats basketball. Oh, wing. good Lord. Reeves. <laughs> Dishes it to the right. I, I never mentioned it on my Twitter. Shoots it. It off uh, but it was kind of interesting seeing uh, the difference. Passes. The difference right between... Um, Backs down. <sighs> Damn it. Has it right corner. Shepherd from deep. There we go. We made it. The difference between um the TEW subreddit, the fantasy booker subreddit. Uh in in uh anticipation of TEW compared to the Super Mega Baseball subreddit. Just in like within a couple of days, it's just like 
the difference in, in like hype level. Inbounds the ball. It was, it was just kind of funny. Has been on the wrong side the of wrestling does that in MMA and TW and Tracy's started a birth of the MMA series. Nice. Is frantically talking to his assistant. Well, there you go. So then you don't need me to play WMA. To stop this run. <laughs> he is not pleased with their current setup, to say the least. All right, Tracy. There we go. The Cowboys with some difficulties. The Cowboys take their first time out of the game. Uh... Let's do point of emphasis. Why not? Uh, shot selection should probably go. We, we, we're really getting. Well, it getting looks like they're getting set to oh. inbound the ball. Who is <laughs> <laughs> hyper? Damn it. Left wing. <sighs> he gets more than one of that done in one hour. <laughs> does he watch the Does he watch the fights, or does he just sim them? Dishes it to the baseline. Because you know, I I do what nine fights, and it just kind of it just uh, it just sort of happens that way sometimes. We're in a big transitional period with our with our three. company, trying to make sure we can make some money. And hey, Jack, what's up? Right off, ah, I tried to pass it and then you blocked it. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the do a local to global. Um, Salazar give yourself a few few thousand dollars. The way it looks it like right is if you give yourself. I don't know, five grand, ten grand, you can keep yourself out of the red. You're not going to make, uh, do one show a month because you're not going to make a whole lot of money. But within like a year, you might actually be able to start making a few hundred dollars a month. Mix of both, and it's a tournament. And it's one round, 30 minutes. Ah. Tracy is by their bench with a report. Coach Ford, that's what I originally. That's what I thought ball, about at first. That's what I. That's what I considered. Paint, was like. <laughs> was um, here, just Thanks, doing Tracy. it where it's like thirty minutes, so you just fight until someone just goes down. It to the paint. But I'm like, ah, I'll do the three. rounds format. Let's. So that defender no holds barred. Ooh. To make the shot. Ooh, yeah, that sounds that sounds interesting. Case, just sounds like an underground the, the the idea of like an just an underground fight club basically. Can't sink the first. But yeah, thirty minutes. You just go. There's no stopping. You do whatever you want. <laughs> Good on number two. Chewy C inbounds the ball. He kept There's his no talent for more than one fight. I don't. <laughs> There's only so much I can do about it. I try to keep my talent. Backs him down. It's not my fault it's they leave. It up. From hey. Ten grand, one show a month. Got it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hire the cheapest, the cheapest people. Don't. Basketball. When you first start doing a local to global, don't go. Don't go for anyone who's asking for more than like. You can maybe get one or two guys at best who ask for like, you know, 50, 60 bucks or more, but I wouldn't spend more than that. You're going to you're going to end up getting a lot of guys who are going to ask for like $30. And if you have the negotiation stat high enough, you can whittle them down to 20. That's uh that's probably Will I stream more often or longer Catches when I start it. TEW? Uh, it really depends because, yeah, just the way things have been recently. Um, basically, basically, um, our, our plant is still around and doing, doing mail, which is good because there's a lot of ones in the area that can't quite handle the amount, especially like Detroit. Uh, I think Quad Cities. I think they just they just shut it down. I guess for a period of time to quote unquote clean. Chicago's taking a lot less. Des Moines is really because we just like I said we've had what five cases period 
Uh, we're getting a lot of the we're getting a lot of the uh, the mail that more, uh, um, higher affected places are uh, are getting. That being said, we still are getting quite a few people who are gone. So people have to uh, plant for what the the processing plant, our mail processing plant that I that I work in. We're getting a lot of the mail from other places that doesn't have the manpower right now because people are people are quarantined. Gets the second to fall as well. So we're taking we're taking a lot of that right now. Two forty five left in the first half. Mm -mm -mm. Dumps it down low. So yeah, there's still f quite a few people who are like gone even at our plant because of the people who did test positive. So a lot of the, a lot of people on the other tours, like the uh, mornings and uh, evenings, are generally getting. Technically, a lot of them are actually getting more than they probably should be getting because you, they don't want you working with, like uh, the union doesn't want you working more than sixty hours. It's something in the contract, but a lot of them are uh, they're still working like sixty four to sixty eight hours a week. Crazy. I've been tested now. I've not been tested yet. I think they've they've kind of made a point that. Uh, They've kind of made a point that uh, well, unless you're showing symptoms really or you get tested through, because like I said, out of the five cases, basically four of them were asymptomatic. And the only reason that they were even tested positive is they were going to the doctor to test something else. They were going there for a different reason. And then because of the way things have been, um, you know, they just tested for it and they found out they were positive. Do I get more pay? No, unless I work more. If you mean that by like, do we get hazard pay? No, we don't. From deep, the shot was knocked down by Shepard. He's two for four. I would work more if it wasn't for the fact that the evening, uh, the guys in charge of the evening crew, are just fucking psychotic. They're very like. They're very like, uh, you know, we got to get numbers. We got to do this. We got to do that. It's they, they, they micromanage. I do. We do not like micromanagers. It is annoying. They can get away with it in the evenings because it's a lot of people who haven't been there very long and they kind of have to get a lot of those packages out. But the morning crew is a lot of people who work there like 20, 30 years and they despise any of the people who try to do that shit. having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how nah. it be funny if they put TW, come wrestle for me, and I'll give you a playboy in a hand. What the fuck? <laughs> Will I get a week off after all this is over? Probably not. I could get, I because um, they did basically tell us at the beginning of this whole thing Would I make more if I were unemployed? Uh, probably not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we might see, you know, at the end of the summer when the Postal Service goes bankrupt. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> there we go. Hey! Ah, oh, shit. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. But uh, yeah, I did. I did take a week off. Well, yeah, I did take that week off a few weeks ago, just for the hell of it. A lot of other people are taking their uh, their vacation time as well. They had vacation time planned, but uh, a lot of times it got scrapped. Uh, but a lot of a lot of people just want to get out of there for a week anyway, just for the hell of it, because it's fucking insanity. But they're still behind by 60. Shepard unloads. First half oh, my God. I didn't expect him to make that. That's why I did it just after the buzzer. Holy shit. That was amazing. I can't think of too much good to say. Oh, my God. Maybe you can do play-by-play and color. What the fuck? I like because it didn't officially go in that the uh, the, the commentators just don't even acknowledge what just happened. Postal Service bankrupt, I'm shocked. Yeah. 
goes through and he looks absolutely unstoppable. A lot of it has to do with some of the bills passed in Congress having to effort from our player uh, of the half. having to fund a lot of things that aren't necessary right now. If I make more than 1081 a week, I'd make less on unemployment. Hang on. Is that that's net I, or that's a uh, gross I assume. See now now you're making me check cuz I just got paid today. So let me check. I think I gross about that much. I think that's about how much I gross. Sorry, one second. Um, thousand eighty one. So that's what twenty twenty one sixty. Uh, it's I'm right about there. I'm just a li just literally like <laughs> sixty dollars short of that. <laughs> but then you also don't even factor in over. That's not even factoring in overtime. We're all set to be. That's not even factoring in the overtime pay. And a lot of that is, you know, time and a half, the first two hours after eight hours. So if you work 10 hours, you get time and a half for two hours. You get penalty time uh, from 10 hours to 12 hours, which is double. So a lot of people like to work their 12 hours. Some people actually end up working 14-hour days because they need that. And they get, like, four hours of penalty pay. And that's, like, 60 bucks an hour a lot of people get. Just for four hours a day. It's crazy. I just can't do that that much. I just, my sanity is just a little, it's just, it's just, my sanity is not worth that money. Yeah, I'm still saving up for a house, and I would like to have even more money for a house. But I don't think my sanity is worth dealing with that shit. That's before taxes. I always forget what is not and what is gross. He gets them both. Oh, I'm take a week off. I have to deal with those. I'm going to be off. Yeah. <laughs> it must be like fun. The companies mean all the government angriest. I mean, like we Sell need to modernize and fund us. A big time rejection. He just exploded off the oh, floor to time that block. Wonderful anticipation by the defender. Which is weird because it's not like that's the thing that a lot of people don't even realize. And this is something that I ended up, you know, I did a lot of research about it because I'm like, what, third generation postal worker? <laughs> I don't know if that's sad or anything, but hey, it's a damn good job. I try not to talk about how much I spend in health insurance every month because it's just one of those things that even my mom was like don't tell people they'll just be angry $60 an hour I'll be right back civil service exam yeah that's at the highest end but I've been there for what 10 years now it's been about 10 years I've been a full time officially full time career person for just under 6 and yeah, I make what 20, 25 an hour, I think is what it is now. Kicks it out to the left wing. Comes out to like 50, 51 grand, something like that. A year. Exactly what they wanted right there, but it just didn't go down. You've got a vacation time in Japan. Finishes opening up. Yeah, I'm just expecting to not do that at all. Next, within the next, like, before before the end of the year, which is not gonna not gonna happen. It ain't much, but it's honest work. It really is. It's a very blue collar. It's it's. A, I feel that it feels very blue collar. Like ah yeah, you just go to work, have your coffee. <laughs> just an average, just an average Joe guy. Dude, we have so many of those average Joe guys at work. Like if you think about like the dudes, we even have a dude who legitimately wears coveralls every day. It's not like super dirty, but. Yeah. That's what a coach wants from his defenders. Stay with well, is your it best a good deal on the health? Is it union health care? It is union health care. It is that is union health care that I use. Pinozola slides in with a soft finger roll. Oklahoma State calls time. All right, we're up by 20, but it is a conference tournament. 
So... Sigurdsson. We'll see. It takes a oh bad bounce and goes out of bounds. Uh, marrying <laughs> Tyler for the health share. Inbounds the ball. They're going to stick with them all the way up the floor in the full oh, court. Man to man. Should Gets be good depending left. on the union. Yeah. It's a good. It's a good union. See, that's the thing is when a lot there's. There's a lot of, like, good unions out there. As much as there is, like, shitty unions for people who really, who, like, tr abuse the idea of a union, there's a lot of, like, generally a lot of the, uh, what is it, a lot of blue-collar jobs, a lot of, like, you know, almost manual labor-esque jobs, the unions are pretty good, and they, they're very helpful with that. Because there's a lot of horse shit that management tries to get away with even when they know it's against union regulations. But then you have a lot of the other you have a lot of the other unions that get uh, they get you know like talked about you know, it's in in just in uh, in um, what is it like uh, like what is it not genres but different like uh, industries where the union is there to I enforce some sort of weird belief system and it doesn't work out well and then you get laid off and then <laughs> you wonder Inside, why it happened skips it to the wing <laughs> and I gave it $200 a month is $200 a month it. and that's his fifth rebound in this one what a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot let's see let's see he's double teamed ah i meant to, i meant to have him like turn around whatever strike if need be um Sigurdsson. God, I think I think at one point the union did strike a while back, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be any time soon because we literally the union literally just uh, got a new bargaining agreement set up. So it's gonna it would be it would be a little while anyway. Good time to have a new bargaining agreement come up too. Getting that done before any of this other crap got. Done. Got dished out. <laughs> Even allowed to strike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dishes. I think they did it once when I was like a kid. I remember. I remember that being a thing. It was like the nineties. So they haven't. I don't think they've striked in probably twenty-five years. To see his players move more effectively without the ball, so they can get better looks at the basket. He told his. I think. I think a lot of it came came with the fact that they needed people for a while. Like they had a hiring freeze that ended pretty much. <laughs> When I started up, like they actually had a legitimate like 10 year hiring freeze where they weren't converting anybody to like actual career employees up until like up until like a year before I actually, um, you know, uh, uh, until I actually got in full time myself because I was there for like three years and they were still in the freeze. You were under the furlough, right? I was not. There was nobody furloughed in our locate. There's, <laughs> we need, we need all the people we can get. Gets the second to fall as well. We need. We're still hiring, actually. That's kind of crazy about it. You're still. They're still like hiring carriers because they need people. Damn it! All right, we're up by twenty-three. I'm just gonna call it good. We we've won. We've won. Oh yeah. Uh, when do you think your TEW save will start? I'm not sure. I think I'm going to wait for an official. I, I think the, the issue is I'm going to try to wait for an official. Uh, wow, Kansas State beat, uh, what was it, Texas Tech? Texas won, Missouri won. Missouri, Colorado is probably a little bit closer. But, yeah, I'm not surprised that Texas beat Kansas. Jesus, Texas is just on a whole different level than everybody else. It is ridiculous. Easily do those jobs, quite frankly. Like, the call services and offering me 3400 a month to be unemployed. That's a good point. I understand. All right. Uh, 
Whoops. I was gonna. I was trying to hit a button, and I was like, I'm gonna wait and actually do. Oh, you know what? I was gonna do uh, uniforms to the yellow jerseys. But I think I'm going to wait because it's always such a rare thing to even use our away jersey because we always just do home games. So I want to I want to do a couple of away. If we get to the if we win this game and get to the championship, I'll wear the yellow jerseys or gold, whatever you want to call them. I'll wear the gold jerseys for the championship. But I'm going to actually I'm going to actually put on the red ones. In there. Yeah, I know. I think that's the, I think that's the point. A lot of I don't want to get political, but I feel like that's starting to be the point. <laughs> Is that because I I told my uh, I told my roommate I'm like you're gonna see a lot of people who are gonna ride out this unemployment thing for as long as humanly possible because of how much money they're getting from it. What is Team Unity doing this game? Uh, I think just affects like chemistry, and uh, gives them like little boost, like just little uh, boost to everything. Like, if you look in the substitutions, you can see how everyone's, like, overall is a little bit better than it should be. And I think that's what the chemistry does. Like, Chuisi's probably not too thrilled right now. Like, I think a lot of it has to do with their, um, you know, like, Scrocky has been kind of hurt, so he's probably, he probably needs, like, a pep talk. So I think the better, the better mood that they're in and the better you're doing on the, on the court... It kind of affects the uh, their overall slightly. <laughs> Make more money being unemployed. That's that's what my roommate said. Like he was he was uh he's he's back at work and he's not liking he, he's <laughs> he's having to deal with the physical the phys uh the the physicalness of the job again because he hasn't worked in like seven weeks. He's just been spending seven weeks playing Conan Exiles. And so he had like a 12 hour day and he just fucking hated his body afterwards. What do you have for us, Tracy? Just before the game, I talked with Coach Fife. But he told yeah, me he and his it's, team uh, just I, I told right him, I'm like, you're going to see a lot of people who are going to ride this for as long as humanly possible and try to try to figure out the, the system. It doesn't help that they talked about L.A. County being closed until there's like a cure. I forget what it was. Like, I think they said cure or vaccine, something like that, which is going to be, which for a virus, there's never a cure. Like, there's not even a cure for the common cold. There's not a cure for any, you know, for the flu or cancer or any of that stuff. He makes the first vaccine, maybe, but who knows how long that's going to take. So who knows how long stuff's gonna be closed? He gets the second to fall as well. Uh, inbounds the ball. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be happy with where we're at now with that because I, I don't have to worry too much. Shepherd. Mostly, mostly Heads I just off. gotta worry about the money that <laughs> the postal service needs to not completely shut down. Puts it up, follows ah. it up, and he'll go to the line for a couple. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that LA is a shithole just because I haven't been to LA and God, it's probably been 15 years. It's been about 15 years since I was last in Los Angeles, so and he's going to come away empty. I was in a very touristy part of it, so I can't really say much about it. And here will be open by early June. I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be here too. Passes it to the wing. I'm thinking by the. I'm thinking by June first, a lot of stuff's going to be reopened Williams here. It on the free throw line. It's the one. Carry that's the one of the upsides to the Midwest. <laughs> that and the fact it's that a lot of these houses two. are going Shepherd up for sale for relatively cheap. I'm still waiting Dish. to see what happens with, with that because I feel I feel like the prices gosh. might go down a little bit, but we'll see. Five to two. About it's a very big place in different areas. As is everything, because there's even Des Moines. Des Moines not a big. Des Moines not like a big city, but like if you go to certain parts of Des Moines, it'd be like, oh, this is a very poor area. Like this just feels everything feels very poor. And then you go to like, like if you go to like in Des Moines, if you go to like the South Side or the the far East Side, it's like, oh, Des Moines just kind of a shitty poor place. It just looks just looks grimy and blah. 
And then if you go to like the East Village where they've like completely modernized everything and all that shit, it's just like, oh, Des Moines is such a beautiful city. And it's like, yeah, it's a little bit of both. They're reopening our um, our apartment office, which they basically said, listen, there's a few things that we're still not allowing. Like, you still can't really come into the office unless you need to. But we're going to start reopening it, which is kind of sucks because they actually have a decent gym in the, at the office. And they have a racquetball court. That's the only I don't know of. I don't know of any like besides maybe some like some type of luxury apartment complex that would have a racquetball court in there like amongst all of their uh, gym stuff. So that was kind of cool. That's my opinion on CW 2020. It's not bad. I think a lot of people got real like. Uh, I think they got a lot of. Uh, ooh, damn. Oh, I think he's stuck forward. I think a lot of people got really overreactive to a lot of the user interface stuff, and I I do see a lot of the complaints, and I think most of it just had to do with that. I think everything else was just the fact that everything was overwhelming, and uh, text is a little small, but that's all right. Other than that, I think the I think all the new little features and everything like that outweigh the problems with it. That's my feeling. We'll keep up with the defense. Well, let's get back to the action. Des Moines is just beige and corn. <laughs> Dude, it's getting less and less corn around here. It's weird because, like, my like my parents used to be the type of pit. Like, I don't know if, uh, well, I don't know how many, uh, I don't know how many people live in a slightly rural enough area where, you know, their parents would drive. I don't know how many other people would, like, their parents would drive around. And he'd be That's like, oh, I remember when that used to be, uh, like, we have, like, uh, an, an auto parts store, like an O'Reilly's. And it's like, oh, I remember when that used to be the local ice cream place. And then they'd point at, like... You know where this housing complex is, and it's like, oh, that's that's old man, you know, Rivers uh, Corn, like uh, their uh, his uh, his uh, cornfield. You know, it was all just cornfield there. And I'm not even 30 years old yet, and I'm the like my some of the towns that I that I have like lived and been around Robert in just around here side. like even Robert I'm starting to do that can't connect from long range Timba. foot for that rebound you can't That's assassinate a wrestler you. technically you can i've i've seen i've seen Timba. like i think the idea of having someone persist i think someone someone was uh figuring out how much they could game the system and i guess in TEW 2020 like you can't just straight up assassinate them but the idea of putting a wrestler in a death match and they could actually find a way to die uh, is a possibility. Because <laughs> I know someone was like gaming the system and they were putting guys in death matches and they were dying off. They take a six point lead. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. The community is pretty toxic. It really, it really depends sometimes. You know, it, I think it. I feel like it's always a. Uh, what is it? A vocal minority sometimes. Catches it. Left wing. It depends. Unless there's a lot of people like screaming about the same thing. Then you maybe want to listen to it. Like, I, like fortunately they did with the user interface. Though. A lot of people were not happy with the way the office looked, and a lot of the buttons and stuff were set up, and uh, how everything was a little rough to look at. And fortunately they did actually listen to that because that wasn't just a vocal minority bitching about. You nitpicky things. Perimeter. Uh, Why didn't you sponsor a bowl game like Idaho with potatoes? What? Denied. I love that defense. Idaho with potatoes. Waiting for me to do that? Sponsor a sponsor a bowl game? Credit the D there. They reacted quickly enough to throw him off. Hey, G bro, what's up? Backs in. They're bringing the double team. Oh. It out to the wing. All right, cool. Just let me keep. Just let me keep draining those. Just over six Iowa Corn Association, Birmingham Bowl. 
Which is kind of funny because when you actually talk about that, there actually is like an aisle. I don't think it's. Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to watch that again just because that was funny. <laughs> he literally just winged it at his teeth. Just, oh, oh, bam. <laughs> He didn't even, he didn't even flinch. He didn't even flinch. Bam. <laughs> he just stood there like, oh, shit. Zivanovic tosses it up court. Caught. Tosses it up. It's in for three. By ten. So you make fun of that, but there is a, I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's called the Iowa Corn Association, but there is an Iowa Corn that does sponsor various things around here, like the Nationwide, I don't know if it's called Nationwide anymore, whatever the, whatever the thing below, oh god, it's not even Sprint Cup at this point, it's like what, Monster Energy, I think? Is it Monster Energy is the main NASCAR series now? I always forget. It changes all the time, but yeah, whatever the whatever the next one is, I just remembered as nationwide because that's the one that's been for the longest time. That's the one I remember. So yeah, when they do the nationwide series and they do the race at Iowa Speedway in Newton, it actually is like the Iowa Corn 250. Skip pass out left. Or I think that I think Casey's has sponsored it before too. Was just sitting in the paint. And the ref's going to call him for it. So they don't do football, but they'll subs. do racetrack stuff. Nationwide is now Xfinity. Okay, Xfinity. That's okay. Now that you mention it, yeah, that makes sense. Milton corrals the miss inside. Feel like an old man because I was sitting there. Yeah, Sprint Cup. No, it's not Sprint Cup. How long? When was the last time it was Sprint Cup? You should just really be old man and just call it the Winston the Cup. That was the next Hell Cup. It's Casey's. Okay. It, you, they've had Iowa, they've had Iowa Corn um, sponsor a race, but yeah, Casey's is also sponsored uh, the races as well. Iowa Corn might do lesser, the lesser than Xfinity stuff now. Pulls it in. Connects. He's got two. Backs him down. Milton fires. Ah, God damn it. In close. Strictly but stock division. I don't know. I can't, I can't look it up right now. Well, I could, but that would mean... Taking my eye off the game and moving over Nutter to a, it right side. looking at a different monitor From to find out who sponsors the Nutter Xfinity, the Xfinity races at Iowa Speedway. He got it up there, but it just wouldn't fall. With a little more touch, it might have. Milton backs down, takes the shot. Sure, why not? Hey, you want us to take threes? I mean, they're practically begging for me to keep taking these threes. Sponsor a bowl game or basketball tournament. I think they just do local stuff. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think they've done an official basketball tournament, but I want to say they've done some some local stuff with college basketball. Like uh, when the Hawka, when Iowa and Iowa State play. For the Cyhawk series, usually that's sponsored by somebody. I don't know who. Even a fucking PGA event. There's not a lot of. There's like what one? I think one uh, PGA. Uh, you know, I, I think there's what one PGA place here. They have. Um, I forget what it was. It was like I think they did like a seniors tournament here once. I think yeah, we only have like one PGA type golf course. We have a we have a fair amount of golf courses, but only one that's actually been like pro tournament ready. Lover dishes down low, throws it up. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vernon. That's the main reason they're leading in this game. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they did. I'd have to 
We have to see down. who sponsored the uh, the last like she seniors golf tournament the that they had uh, in Des Moines. It was a while back. It's Still a 13 point lead. There's the famous Kansas Iowa State corn ad. Really <laughs> I think it's just because there's no like super big. Because like I feel like the only super big uh, companies that are like Iowa based, you could say Casey's, and even then that's mostly regional. And also regional High V. High V will High V I think will sponsor some stuff too. They'll do a lot of the sports team stuff. They've done they've done some college tournament stuff if I remember right, but not like anything huge. High V will do it because they make decent money. Everything else is very practically small business. Damn it! Motocross. Weber went after that rebound hard. Great I don't remember the last time motocross was a thing around here. They used to do arena cross races here. That was dope. Right I love arena cross. Scrubby they still do that, don't they? Count it, and he'll have a chance I assume they do. I just never really paid attention to I understand very little of this conversation. Trust me, even some of the even some of the companies that I talk about are still very uh, are still very um, like regional like Casey's Casey's is literally like a gas station slash pizza place it's they call it a general store so it's like you know gas station but nicer and then hy V's a supermarket but like supermarket on steroids it feels like because hy V's hy V's dope hy V has like their own little areas to eat they have like their own little mini restaurant a couple of them around here even have banks inside of them so that's kind of cool. Might be the house that Kurt Warner built. Puts it up. Oh, that is a good point. Yeah. Pulls it in off the glass. Twenty-five seconds left in the first half. Look at the D. What a great job bothering them underneath. That stop. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is. It's uh, yeah, because the um, not the one that I go to now, but the one that I used to go to, um, has a few more things in there. They have. Uh, oh God! What is what is in that that high V? It's a supermarket. Damn, that's a low scoring game. It's a supermarket, but it also has, um, you know, little deli counter and stuff like that. It has a little barbecue counter where you can get uh, you know fresh made like ribs and tenderloins and all sorts of good stuff. All sorts of American American barbecue food. We literally only have three people. <laughs> Wait, 12, 10, 22. Okay, so yeah, they didn't mention everybody who actually scored points. The, the barbecue place, Chinese. They do Chinese. They do Italian with like fresh made pizza. They have a handmade sushi place, a little counter, sushi counter there. Uh, let's see. They have uh, they used to they used to have a place to like sit with their own little uh, little like tables and stuff. But now they've turned it into like a sit down restaurant. Half, so a lot of the new places in. they've they've turned their like market grills like their actual like uh, grill areas into like bar sit down restaurants just attached to the store. Weber, inbound it's uh, it's amazing. A lot of them they just convert it into like little mini sit down restaurants, but if it's like brand new, they'll they'll add like a whole separate section. Here. It's crazy. They have a yeah they have a place they have a market grill is what they call it. It's, yeah, a sit down restaurant, and uh, yeah, at the new ones it'll literally have its own separate entrance with a whole wait staff and everything. This is attached to the supermarket. This is still. And then yeah, there's a uh, um, they they added in a lot of health food stuff as well, like their own little mini health like uh, whole foods type crap, uh, and they'll have like an on an on uh, on site uh, dietitian to help you out. <laughs> no shit. And then yeah, the the one that one that I used to go to has a uh, has a bank in it as well. It has like three it has like three tellers, but that's about that's about all you need. Really. Two or three of them. Got to exercise a little patience. Little grocery store chain mainly in South. Milton. Oh, Jesus. Is it a truck stop? Because you never heard anything like that. No, it is not. It is just a straight up. 
No. <laughs> it is just a straight up grocery store on steroids. There's some in America where right. sausage, meat, pies, Vegemite, is basically salt is in the spread. A lot of tomato sauce and ketchup. This place sounds insane. It is pretty insane. Gets it in the corner. Open look. Snaps ah, damn it. Williams. They've still got a four point lead. Carrington dumps it inside. The bank shot won't fall. Might have rushed that uh, just a little bit. There was yeah, and then they've the started doing. Um, the steal. Damn it. They started doing uh, like uh, curbside pickup and stuff like that with the uh, with the pandemic and everything, and then they've they started a thing called Aisles Online, which is literally you can pay a certain amount, I think, for like a uh, like a like a subscription service basically, or I think if you just order enough food, um, you can shop online to see what food like what what items are there and then you can pick a time a day and a time and someone will go and shop for you and bag it all up and at the time and play like at the date and the date and time you can come and just pick it all up and you don't have to go shopping you don't have to go in you just they'll do it for you has it outright it's ridiculous left wing yeah, I was gonna say I th I feel I don't know how I don't know how much stuff Publix has, but I feel like Publix is maybe the closest to uh, what High V is here. I don't know if I, I don't know if Publix has all the shit that High V does though. The one the one downside is that it's a bit more everything's a bit more expensive than literally everything else. Like. You go to Walmart or Aldi or any other any other place. It's generally cheaper than if you go to High V, but it is nice. Is it even a grocery? It is like ninety percent grocery store. Just offers a bunch of other shit too. They have a service like that. Well, that's cool. Yeah, they. Um, I know. Uh, downtown Des Moines. They do that. They do a um, downtown Des Moines. They actually have uh, lockers. So when you order, you can select a date and a time, and they have these lockers um, kind of up against the building just outside. And they'll tell you, like, what locker and then the combination so that you don't, you don't have to interact with anybody or anything like that. You just... Go decision. to the locker, Guys, put in the combination, and then you just well grab together. your grab your groceries out of the locker. And he nails the third. Chewy C inbounds the ball. Go. Publix is strictly a grocery store. Oh yeah, I forgot. hy V started doing their own uh, branded gas stations too. And they're Chewy glorious. Because I go there like literally, I literally just went there like earlier tonight to get just some, just some, just some drinks, and it's great because they'll they'll make like prepackaged food that they make in the grocery store, and then they'll send it over to the gas station because it's just on the other side of the, the because uh, they'll build their gas stations like right on the other side of the uh, parking lot, so they'll they'll make like their food. They'll make uh, some of the they'll make like the food in their uh, kitchen areas, and then they'll send some of that over to the gas station. It's really weird. I guess it's not weird, but it's kind of cool that you can get just like full good meals at, at this gas station. Top of the key. It's weird that you can get, you can technically get gas station sushi from there. And then it's, uh, you know, it's relatively safe because it was actually made at their, at their counter. I'm sorry, downtown Des Moines, that a thing? It is. It's not huge, but it's nice. I think the nicest thing about it is that, um, Minneapolis has the same thing. Minneapolis has a gigantic skywalk system that goes through a good chunk of Minneapolis where I guess there were they've they've noted before that people can basically if you live in downtown Minneapolis there's ways that you can uh, like uh, live in one of like the apartments or something connected to 
the Skywalk, and there's like enough stuff in the Minneapolis Skywalk where you don't ever have to actually leave. <laughs> like if you live and work close enough, there's ways that you don't technically ever have to really hit hit the streets to live. And uh, Des Moines has a smaller version of it, which I really like because then it allows me to go to the hockey games, which I do every year, which allows me to go to the hockey games uh, in the middle of winter wearing shorts, which a lot of people always look at me because it's what? <laughs> Six inches of snow on the ground. It's like 10 degrees out. <laughs> My ass is wearing shorts and a hockey jersey. Yeah, people are going to look at me weird. Goes up. But I never have to go out on the street and deal with that stupid cold. Williams it's like one skyscraper in a field of corn. <laughs> you know, you're not you're not a hundred percent off. You're not completely off. <laughs> I think we do te technically have like one one tall tall building. I'm sure if you look at Des Moines skyline, you can you can find the one tall building that Jesus. That we got. It's not a skywalk. It's too small, so we call it an air walk. Or above ground walk. Well, they call it a skywalk. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Tunnels, tunnels above the street. The only downside is, is that... Um, I guess uh, security is not the greatest thing there. And there have been incidents of people <laughs> being ganged up on um, by people right. who are, are not, are, uh, I don't know, what, what, what is the word? <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to be like, I was going to be like real old school, just like ne'er-do-wells, evil doers, not nice people who will traverse the skywalk in groups and uh, and uh, perhaps perhaps uh, start beating people down it did happen uh, just just actually you know what actually was the scariest part it is actually one one of the most recent incidents actually happened like literally uh, after a hockey game and it was just like a block down like it I literally park like I park my car like a block away from where the incident happened of like 20 teenagers beating the shit out of this dude and his girlfriend. Why does it seem like the armpit of the country? It's not really. I don't think it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Every every place has its bad things that happen. There are definitely I think there are worse places in the Midwest. That's one, thing, that's one thing I can say about Iowa. We're not we're not Missouri. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. It's just, you know, things happen sometimes. There we go. Uh let's do defense. Let's do defense. Well, let's get back to the action. Weber inbounds the ball. Ugh. Yeah, I do need to. Uh, I do need to play some TEW at some point. Of course, I need to do WMMA five. I should do that tonight. So TEW probably won't be done tonight on stream, even though it's release day. That's all right. I got Super Mega Baseball as soon as I possibly could, and I didn't. I didn't. I haven't streamed it yet. Also, oh shit. Also, I'm kind of scared of doing too much on my Switch right now because I, I don't know if they've patched Super Mega Baseball yet, but they've had issues, I guess, on the Switch where it crashes sometimes and then it just deletes all your custom teams. So I'm a little, I'm a little weary about doing too much. Because I haven't created that many teams. It's only been like four teams, but it's also work I don't want to do again. Damn. Could be Arkansas. Backs down. 
I don't know. I don't. It's it's gonna be weird because I don't know what I want to use for. Um, Timber catches it. Because I know they were talking about. Um, Fuck, who's the dude for for TEW? I forget the dude who um is it Gennady? Is his name? He's definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the pit. Uh, the Real World Chronicles guy, and I know he's not doing it anymore. It's someone else. And I really did enjoy uh his Real World Chronicles stuff. Although I don't know when they're gonna do another Real World Chronicles mod. As opposed to the fact that um, the Who, I think, is going to be done with his, is going to have his up and running by the 1st of June, an official one for TEW. And I'm a little weary about it just because I like, I like the stats and everything in Real World Chronicles as compared to the Who. He's shooting 100 percent. There's a lot range. of things. There's a lot of things I I enjoy about that. It's um, loose, and it's that I know. There, there's they just like little minor things that I know would just be a, an annoyance if I if I played on the Who's. Really, uh, like I don't wanna I don't wanna wait too long for a mod, but I also I also don't wanna have one where I feel like. It's not it's key. not as up to date as it should be. Weber raises up, frees it for three. He's got nine. Milton inbounds the ball. We'll see. Two thirty seven left in the I've game. always got I've always got time to look at it. I mean worst comes to worst, I could still just I don't know when uh, I can still try to Milton do like the April down. the April Milton one for T W twenty sixteen. I already have that converted they over. I can make some changes, some little minor changes to it. Williams catches it right block. As soon as he got the ball down there, the defense was all over him, making things difficult. Timba shoots it up. I think the main the thing I was a, I was a bit not peeved, but like that that uh, was concerning with a lot of the uh, with a lot of the the wrestlers um, was just how many of them had like zero popularity for anything. Oh, like oh, they're just oh they're complete he unknowns and it's like no they down. they would they would at least be in some sort of demand. But He's three for eight I don't know, we'll see. Kansas State calls like I said, I don't wanna I don't wanna like wait too long in the rest of the game. That's a good point. We got a minute and a half left. We're up by sixteen. Screw it. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, Texas. The te oh my God, are you kidding me? We're gonna avoid Texas, Missouri, sixty-eight, sixty-four. Are you absolutely joking me right now? Holy shit! Why do I stream so late? I streamed so late because I took a nap and then I woke up and now I'm here doing this this late. I don't mean to, but it just happens. All right. Well, it looks like we'll just hopefully. Oh, shit. I forgot to change the yellow. That's all right. I'll do it for the NCAA tournament. It's time for College Hoops 2K8. The Iowa State Cyclones battle the Missouri Tuck. Sorry. This is literally my first stream I get to see the red put on. It's not often we get to put those on. Iowa State controls the opening tip and we'll get this one started. And it looks like they'll start the game in Letterman. Passes it to the right. Oh, 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 oh. Shepherd. I meant for you to turn around. I thought you were going to do a fadeaway. The and move the controller for you to do that. TW2020 has stat progression Peterson. slowness the at the moment. I'm not sure if it's a mod problem or a problem with the game. I guess stats don't improve as fast as before. Hmm. Yeah, that might be a problem, too. Because that was one of my favorite things about being five years into a game is the stat progression on a lot of people that I had. I guess it depends. It that was that was one thing I liked was some of the some of the people who had been 
had been put in enough matches and they'd done enough things that they were like highly skilled. Throws it up. The tray was missed by Chapman. And it's still knotted up two. Here comes the double oh, there you team. go. Nope, nope. Cox catches it, top of the key. Timbo oh, shit. lets it go. Hey, Five there we go. Up. They're up by three. Look up Angry Fan. It comes up as an Iowa State fan. I swear. What? Angry Fan. Pass right uh, side. I, know, I know even after 2016, like, it still took a little while to really put in some things with patches. So, I don't know. Let's see how patches work. Has it right wing. Shepard. Dumps it inside. Milton backs in. Doesn't that mean I have to do my main save board. immediately. Gill you know. brings it up the floor. Three point line for college, the inside or outside? Uh, college is the inside Leads one. The NBA is the outside Chapman one. Which I think the by this point, I think in real life they've. I don't know if they've made them both the same at this point. I can't remember if they've moved the, the college shot, three point line. Back to Milton. the actual professional. One. I want to say and they've done that. Last touch by Missouri. I don't know if they have in real life, the but I want to say they, they have. Players from off the bench. Chewy C inbounds the ball, backs down, and it's scooped <sighs> up by Whitney. About nine and a half NBA minutes left and Yeah, I was going to say, I think this is, it was one of those things that is sort of a recent thing. Left wing. Every state we have high hopes. We know we'll lose to Iowa and barely get to a bowl game. Passes to the baseline. Sounds about right for uh, Iowa State football. It sounds, whoever, if, that, if that's a real quote from someone, that's truly an Iowa State football fan. They know. <laughs> one on one. At least we're starting to have winning seasons again. Gill hands it off. Passes back to the outside. Uh, if I were you, I should wait until you don't want to start running foot and doing it through it. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, I've been after after like uh, dealing with some of the stats and stuff and realizing okay, I can get this much money for this, this much money for that. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting because I I don't know if like the idea of zero 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 is like dead basically. Because I don't, it's definitely, it definitely died for TEW 2016. You definitely, when TEW 2016 was a thing, it definitely died. Because you weren't getting enough money and they were, you were having to pay people way too much. They definitely balanced that out where it's kind of possible, but you still might need like a few grand. You just made that up on the fly. All right. I mean, that's truly Iowa State football right there. <laughs> 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 the Am I a true fan now? Sure. As long as you start drinking Bush Light. Move back twice since the current college line is the international WNBA. That makes sense. Foul shot is good hey. for a three-point play. Intercepted by Cox. Puts it in for two. Are you an honorary fan? I guess. I think Iowa State made Colin Coward an honorary fan once, which I'm not thrilled with. But I think it's because Colin Coward went on a show one time and uh, said that Iowa State fans are like the greatest fans in the world. I forget what it was, but I think if you if you find that, I think Colin Coward said something about it, which is both a blessing and a curse because it's a blessing because hey we get recognized Iowa State gets recognized as a fantastic fan base and it's a curse because now it's Colin Coward the, the Cyclones are making some watch the selection changes. show play some games um just with time constraints I'm not going to play games but we're going to definitely watch the selection show I want to see where I landed Whitney inbounds the ball Loses the I don't think it's Florida a and is a thing at least not on Passes a D1 level. Damn it. He's big, Very he hard takes a lot of attack. Yeah, yeah it, it, even one more one so one is one it one takes, because uh, there's a lot. Oh, God. Feeds See, that's another way. thing is I want to line. I want to do it as, like, pro as possible. 
I know there's a general idea that uh, that uh, they have like a pro mode where it's like, oh, you never truly know their stats. I always, I always like knowing their stats exactly. I don't know. I've never really, I've never really cared so much about you know what what someone's uh, you know hiding stats or fog of war or any of that crap. But there are a few things that I do like about, you know, with the game. Uh, the, a few things I do like to do in the realm of, like, local to globals using, like, production and product settings and all that. But they changed a few things with that that just I, I have to start turning stuff off. And it's it's exhausting. <laughs> It's like, okay, if you're going to do these fixed product settings, I shouldn't have to do this, this, and this every single event because that's bullshit. So I feel like I have to turn some of the product settings, like some of the product requirements off because it's like, oh, yeah, you toggle this to so you don't have to do this type of match, you know, a certain type of match every single show. And it's like I got used to it in 2016 when I had to do a, a storytelling match every every show. I didn't mind that because I was able to make it happen. I was, I was fine with that. But yeah, like there's all these products. It's like, oh yeah, you have to do a steal a show. You have to do a technical masterclass every single event. And I'm like, I'm just trying to get by with twenty dollar people. We can't be doing technical masterclasses in front of ninety people with people that don't like that are not skilled enough to you know cost more than thirty dollars. Dishes it to the left. Mm -mm -mm. Malone, from 20 feet out. You think the NFL have fans in They'll they'll probably try. Sometimes things yeah, add no, adds unnecessary barriers. Yeah. Has it high post. yeah. I'm not a big fan of the product settings thing, but I think that's I think that's not really I don't, that's certainly not going to change. I don't think they're going to add that back in. Which I don't know why they they changed it. That's probably the most annoying part. Is like there's no reason to have made it like that. But the whatever. One. The cyclones are going to make some substitutions. And then, and then the idea that uh, uh, what I've noticed is running a Joshi promotion as a local to global really sucks because the uh, production values are a real pain in the ass. Because the thing is, is that you're never really going to get any fans. Because you you have to have lowest tier production values, and then you have someone like Stardom, who is owned by billion dollar Bushi Road, and Tokyo Joshi Pro, which is owned by DDT, which is owned by billion dollar Cyber Agent, can afford to have much higher production values, and they do so in the game. They're like, oh yeah, they're having uh, professional level and licensed music even though they draw 300 people. It's like, fuck, dude, you can't compete against that. You, there's no way to legitimately compete against someone who's owned by a billion-dollar company and just throw money at it. I get the fact that they're going to do a lot better, but you're just going to lose every regional battle because <laughs> you can't afford to just throw money at production. It's a real pain in the ass. Every company, you know, Dolphins are the number two K fans in the stadium. Are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs, which is par for the course for Dol the Dolphins anyway. So, <laughs> Nardi inbounds the ball, takes the shot. The three point shot was offline by Mark. That was that was one of my favorite parts about. Uh, they were talking about baseball season. They're just like, hey, you know, they can still have the Miami Marlins do their games with their normal amount of fans. They don't they don't draw more than a thousand people anyway. They've now thrown in an amazing 19 unanswered points. The Tigers will try to end this. It's like, oh, you can't have anybody. I think that's that was the that was the gag. It was like, oh, you can't have anybody in the stadium for baseball games. So it's a Miami Marlins game. <laughs> so it's a Tampa Bay game. It's weird how Florida is such a big haven for spring training and, and other and like minor league, uh, you know, type uh, rookie baseball and all that. But it fails to draw at like an MLB level. It probably is because the two teams they have 
are the Marlins and the Rays, but still. The game just slows down for him to the point he sees things that they have all those like minor league, minor leagues and minor league teams and spring training and all that, and they can't draw shit for their actual MLB stuff. And he makes the first. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I, I hated the region. I turned off the region battles when I was doing Hawkeye Pro, too, even though I would have started winning. But it really was one of those things where it's like I turned off region and area battles because it's like, oh, um, even if you're... Uh, they like they made it so it was like oh so it's more fair so uh, places that you know actually go into the say that that actually go into the game area and are a certain size and they were talking about that it was like it only goes up to like small or medium or something like that the only downside is that still encompassed companies like AEW so you could be a local company and you still had to compete with AEW in these regional battles despite the fact that they never go there. And they're technically too big, but they're just they're just small enough in, in mods to still compete in them. So yeah, I feel like there's more things I'm gonna start turning off in 2020 than what I did in 2016. Milton backs him down. Right wing. I am. I, I did turn on the, uh, what is it, pre-book requirements for events. I haven't, I haven't ever checked to see what the pre-booking, how much more people draws um, for pre-booking as compared to, I guess, you know what, that's the other pain in the ass too for uh, the Who's Mods is that a lot of these, um, a lot of the Joshis I'm going to get have like zero popularity so they're not going to draw anybody like they're not going to they're not going to draw anybody if they're all at zero even though there's little nuances with all of them you know there are some that are a little bit more popular than others so they should cost maybe a hundred hundred and fifty bucks but if there's not that nuance in there then there's no point in pre-booking events because it's going to be a lot of people that can't draw money <laughs> can't bring people in and then it really makes things and then it probably really creates more issues with local to global so oh come on come on dude he definitely hit that before it went down that had to have been a block so we'll see what happens bounce pass top of the key Backs him down. Milton has it. Left wing. Caught. Oh, hey, there you go. We'll take a timeout. Well, let's get back to the action. <sighs> Pre-booking requirements add some realistic components to booking shows like everything. Yeah, it's a good point. The Tigers. And that's and that's a good way to go. that's a good way to probably be semi-successful in a local to global that's what i'm going to be doing a lot of is a lot of pre-booking events where it's like a week you know eight days before a show you know eight days to two weeks before a show figure out what i'm going to run so that way i'm just uh i could just book it and there you go is really struggling I do like the fact that you can also pre-book like everything in the match. I do like that bit. That was, that's a little extra bit that I didn't I didn't think they were gonna put in. Like that was uh, it was one of those things that I didn't. It, it, it's like oh I didn't ask for this, but I certainly appreciate it. Is the idea that you just pre-book the entire match, like not just it's gonna be this guy versus this guy. It's like no, you can just pre-book like who's gonna win, how it's gonna happen, and you can just be done with it before you ever. Before you actually get to the event. Jorgensen. Hads come see nearly naked Japanese women. Bounces it to the right side. I think one of the people I will hire will be Camino. So it's highly possible. They're now behind by 20. 
Backs in from deep. The shot was knocked hey. down by Cox. He's shooting. Yeah, it was something that it was like, oh, range. I'll take that. I can get it done already. I don't even have to. And then you can actually get to the actual booking screen and you don't have to do shit. You just punch it in. There you go. There's issues raised from it. All right. What do you think of the first half, Bill? I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Nine out of nine for ten in free field three points. They're 0 for eight. Dude, we're hitting 90% three point shooting right now. They've hit nothing so far. Who's your pick, Bill? Cox is my pick, Vern. No yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. You know what? That, that's actually one of the big reasons why uh, I'm kind of glad that a lot of the recent stuff in the last like four years, as far as uh, mods are concerned, have added in half, shit. So a lot of Joshi stuff. Because yeah, it didn't have a whole lot uh, when I was playing Hawkeye Pro, but. Yeah, this new one, the, this the, the new stuff that's Malone, popped up in the last few to start years. The second you know, half. It'll be great. Whitney gets it down low. Come on. Chapman passes it to the baseline. Shoots. The wing shot was off the mark by Whitney. Now let's go down to Tracy Wolfson. I know, I know you guys goals. don't hear it. I, I don't think I've talked about Wilson. it in a while. He felt it wouldn't be classy but to run up the score and was going my, to change my, uh, things in a way to make sure that my TV is just going Coach haywire said, with the uh, energy, connection. Or just <laughs> 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 like, you, you obviously don't hear it because it's just still going through like normal through the USB. But. It's really, uh, it gets really staticky and bad after a while. I think these are some old ass HDMI Hello. cables that I need to, that I need to, uh, I just need to get some Gil, new ones. Fire. I need to get like a new pack of HDMI, because, yeah, I think the last time, the, the last time I got like HDMI cables was quite a while ago. Like, they're now much cheaper than they used to be. Just super sim the rest. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give it to like. I want to give it another minute or so. I'm gonna give, let me give it another minute. We're not even technically an hour and a half in yet. He gets them both. All right, we're up by 22. Ah, fuck it. Who cares? We're gonna win anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ! We blew him out even more. I was like, we're gonna win anyway. We're gonna get a we're gonna get a tournament spot at this point, no matter what. So who cares? Uh, all right. <coughs> Selection Sunday show. Yes. All right. Let's let's take a look at this. Good evening and welcome. I'm Greg Gumble here with my partner Clark Kellogg bringing you the 2K Sports NCAA Selection Show. We're all set to show you the seedings and pairings, so get out your bracket sheet, get those pencils ready. Here are the basics. Of the 65 available tournament bids, 31 are automatically given to conference champions. The tournament committee hands out the remaining 34 bids. I forgot that there actually are 31 conferences. Takes place on Tuesday night I always to tend to forget that there are 31 goddamn conferences in college the basketball. For this season, here's a look at the final top 25 media poll of the it's season. Ridiculous. There's one big change you'll notice in the ranking. A new team has made the top 25 this week. The USC Trojans break into the poll as the number 25 Look at how many Big 12 team. teams are in the top 25. Jesus. The last four months. But in just a minute, the selection committee's opinion hey, there's is going San Diego to be the State. only one that matters. It's time to talk about the topic that has a lot of players and coaches holding their breath right now, the NCAA tournament bubble. These are the 10 teams that aren't worried as much about where they'll be playing as if they'll be playing. Clark, who jumps out at you there? Florida State should mm. be considered among the best of the major conference teams not holding an automatic bid. But there are plenty of non-power conference teams knocking on the door that may prevent them from getting an invitation. You got Florida that, State right? ever had a really good? I think they've had Arkansas a good basketball can make a team case before. As to why they deserve Not a nearly as good as their football the teams. Problem have been, is, everyone else can make a case as to why they don't belong in the tournament. I'm sure it's been a long week for those teams, but the wait's almost over. The All Iowa right. State Cyclones 
Hey, East Regional number one. Let's go. On to the second number one seed who will play South Regional Texas. The Texas Longhorn are seeking their first ever NCAA championship. The Connecticut Huskies are our West third Regional number one UConn. seed, and they'll play in the Midwest Regional. They're back in the tournament again, and no doubt they'll be feeding off the experience of last year's appearance as they try hey, to get to the final four up. this year. And finally, our fourth number Seton one seed Hall. will play in the West Regional. The Seton Hall Pirates are in the tournament field as a number one seed for the third time in the history of their program. Now, here's how the brackets shape up based on where the number one seeds have been assigned. Look at that. One number one in the East. Ooh, we get to find out our bracket regional, immediately. The, of the, South regional. In the, other the good news game, is Texas has got to make it all the way to the Final Four the for, uh, for us to face region. them again. Those games will be so we'll see if that happens. We could just blow through everybody like us and game on Monday night, end up April getting it. Anything shocking to you about those picks? Well, when you see the selection committee deviate from the top four teams in the media poll, I'm confident up until surprise. playing Texas. <laughs> Texas is so far and away pick. like so one of the, the best teams. Seeds out of the way. It's finally time to tackle the rest of the bracket. It's crazy off, how much better they are than East everybody regionals. else. The Iowa State Cyclones are the top Oh, we don't even know who will play in winner is going to be yet. Three. They were conference tournament champions. Doesn't the even 12. matter. They will take on the winner of the opening round. We don't even know. Mount St. Mary with 14 wins and Southern from the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And now the number eight Mount St. Mary's and Cardinal Southern come into the tournament as the fourth place team in their and conference Southern was a team that we used to beat as Grambling. At their conference tournament. They're going we used to, to beat the, the shit out of Southern as Oregon Grambling, for God's sake. In their Stanford tournament. and Oregon State. and 11. <laughs> West Virginia comes in at the number five seed. West Virginia, Florida, at Atlantic. And, nine. and they will take on the Alabama. Mm. Enters the field as Alabama, the number four Southern seed Illinois. From the SEC. This is their 27th Alabama being a number four the seed is crazy. Are in as the oh, look, it's Florida. Taking on the number 11 seed. Florida Pittsburgh taking on St. Joseph's. Pitt taking on CS Northridge. I don't think I've ever even Cal heard of that. Northridge. That's why there's 31 the conferences. Seed, there's teams I literally haven't even heard of in this. Our number seven seed. Is from SMU, Conference USA. The Southern Methodist Mustang are on a hot streak, having just won their conference. Next up is the number two seed. San Diego, San Diego State. State San Diego State being number two is crazy after this Mountain point. West conference. They'll be going up against the number 15. Can you imagine if we Eastern if we Illinois face Panther them? If we have to face them and win. losing? This will be their fifth appearance in the NCAA tournament. Uh, in not. I, think this could wind up I don't think in this tournament. This I think they've been story. out of the tournament a for a little the while. I think they moved back down to being mediocre seasons. again. And I'll be surprised if at least one of them doesn't put together. Next up, we'll take a look at the South Regional. All right, let's take a look at the South. Texas and Western Carolina. Comes in as the number eight seed, finishing at 24. St. Louis has been doing. Pretty good Saint for their. Comes in to face them at I don't think St. Louis as in real life has been this good, but they've been the they've been consistently up there. I think. The field as the number five Villanova, Toledo. The it's yet another appearance in the brackets for a school that's no Arizona State comes in as the Arizona number State four Army. seed, finishing at twenty four, and now the number six seed, the Michigan State, Michigan the State California South, Bears are California in as the number Butler. three seed. They'll be taking next up is the number seven seed. Old Dominion, there's the Old Florida Dominion State. Monarchs are the regular seed. Our number two seed is from the SEC. Kentucky, the Kentucky and Eastern Wildcats Washington. Had a tremendous year that included Eastern a regular Washington. season championship. They're going to play the number. It's the first question every selection Sunday. Which is the toughest bracket? Well, this bracket looks to me like it wins that prize this year. Not only are the top it's a pretty seeds tough strong, bracket. The lower seeds can be dangerous. I'll say that well. they got Kentucky. They got they got the some day. badass teams there. At the Midwest Regional. The Connecticut Huskies are the top seed. NC Set. Oh, God, that seven. fucking team. They were winners of the regular season I don't even think that's a real team, the, the NC East. Central. They'll I think it's supposed to be a different, like, it's supposed to be based on a different team. team. I can't this marks their first appearance. In our number Either eight way, seed is from the Missouri Wake the Missouri Forest. The Missouri Tigers were rewarded for their outstanding. The Texas Tech Red Raiders are in as the number five Texas seed. Tech, They'll be Fairfield. taking on the number 12 seed. LSU the enters is the field as the number four seed. LSU the Loyola SEC. Marymount. This marks their 22nd That'd be appearance. Arizona comes in as the number six Arizona, seed, Utah finishing State. at 20 and 11. And they take on the 11th seed. The Utah the State WAC, hasn't been there in a while. Utah, I think. And now the number three seed, the North, North Carolina, Carolina Cornell. The tournament as the fourth place team in their I mean, I guess an Ivy League team has to make it somewhere. Their conference tournament. They are going to play the number 14 seed. They're just going to get obliterated Next by up North the Carolina. Seed, the Colorado, Colorado Vanderbilt. Established themselves. Wisconsin comes in as Wisconsin the number two seed. Point. Finishing at what a tremendous regional final we'd have in this bracket if the number one and two mm. seeds here. That might be the weakest. The first three rounds unscathed. <clears throat> 
That could be I think ours is pretty strong. And finally, let's have we a look might have, at we the might have West a slightly Regional. weaker conference than ours. Are the top seed seen Hall good in the web. Next up is the number eight seed. The Iowa, Iowa NC Hawkeyes State. have established themselves. Georgia Tech comes in as the number uh, five seed, finishing at 25 and 10. Michigan hmm. comes in as the number four seed. Finishing at 26 and Michigan eight. At 26 Texas and San Antonio, our number seed. six seed, is from the Pac-10. The USC US having 12 losses and still getting the number play six this season seed. With an Ridiculous. Bid and a ticket to the big dance. They are going to play the number 11. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame are in as the number three seed. Notre They'll Dame be taking on the number 14 the seed. Hell? And now the number seven seed, the Indiana Hoosiers, oh, come Richmond. into the tournament on the strength of a third bubble. place finish in their conference regular season and were winners of their Indiana conference Indiana hasn't been super they good in a while, have they? Maryland I don't think enters so. enters the field as the number two seed from the ACC. This marks their 28th appearance ever mm, in the NCAA yeah, sure. tournament. There are going to be some incredible matchups in the later rounds of this bracket if the top mm, seeds can avoid the early Upsets. That might we be that might be around our battle. level. What are your thoughts on our top I still think we're a little bit South is definitely the hardest we'll one. Um, is the least Midwest to might be just one. looking at the top teams, the Midwest might be a little bit hard. I think we probably third hardest. I think West might be the easiest one. Now, let's see how the conference representation fares. The Big Ten gets 16. The Big East with six. Six out of the ACC. The Pac-10 gets 16. Mm. What a down year for the non-power conference. All right. Let's come back to the bubble teams that we mentioned watch. earlier Who's in the out? show. Bring them on Arkansas, the Ball State, Charlotte, Bowling Green. Florida State had a terrific finish to the season, and I'm sure that's what put them in the field. All right. The selection committee doesn't want teams to back into the tournament. They want teams to come in playing good basketball. While those teams are celebrating bias, getting into the, the tournament, let's take right. a look at the other teams who are on the short end of the stick. Brigham Young can look back at their schedule this year if they're looking for a reason they got snubbed. They played very few difficult teams outside their conference, and the strategy backfired on them. Thanks, Clark. I'm sure that this year will provide us with all the thrills and I wouldn't, excitement. Don't shit on Brigham Young. Ah, Brigham Young could just look at their nine right losses and wonder start. why, and they could see the why they didn't make it. Now what I see is USC fucking. They probably had better teams. All of us here in the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gunther. Thanks for joining us on the NCAA Selection Show. Brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy all the excitement of the NCAA tournament. I guess it depends on who they lost to. Christ. All right, let's see. Sim through the day. We're playing Mount Saint Marys. All right. I don't think anyone's moved. Oh, there we go. SMU beat Northwestern. San Diego State, of course, made it. So, oh, San Diego State's a little wi a little ways down, so I'm not too overly worried here. I'll face the winner of Stanford, Oregon State. Ooh, damn, Stanford's. Wow. That's an eight-seeded team. The hell. No team will ball in the name. You think it would be better? <laughs> Stanford is going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, West Virginia might be a problem, too. I'm not too overly worried about that. Oh my god. That's it's just it's just wrong. Oh, I finally had a hundred losses this season. Took a little while. Alright. Let's see, Georgia Tech beat North. So nothing surprising yet. First couple of days, no real surprises jumping out at anybody. Everything's been going according to plan. Ooh, Fairfield beat Texas Tech. Boy, we really suck in the Big 12, don't we? And that's the first one and the only one so far. The only upset so far, Fairfield beating Texas Tech. It wasn't even close. Oh, that's really Jesus. A 78 overall team. 
Kentucky's pretty good. Yeah, Kentucky's pretty damn good. All right. Well, there we go. Let's go ahead and save that because we are we have made it to the NCAA champ- tournament once again. We are here to defend our title. Let me save it again just to be safe. Former, we are the the current reigning national champions. We look to win back-to-back national championships. It's not the easiest road in front of us. It's easy enough for Mount St. Mary's, but uh, assuming Stanford beats Oregon State, uh, that'll be a little bit more of a problem. Uh, West Virginia and maybe Alabama would be a bit of a problem, too. But we'll see. I'm assuming we might be able to do quite well for ourselves, but you never know. All right. So either way, uh, I'll probably do, even if it's only like an hour or so, I'll do some sort of um, some sort of uh, WMMA and uh, get that going. So for you guys on stream, that'll be there. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you continue to watch, and I will see you next time.